dokie. Looks like we are geared up for yet another adventure. Today we are going to be heading up the Middle St. Vrain Creek. And uh, at the moment we are at the Middle St. Vrain Trailhead. So I am looking forward to this little trip. We are going to be going up this drainage on the Middle St. Vrain Road right here. And then working our way all the way up on the road on the bike until we uh, run out of bikeable area and we hit the uh, the edge of the wilderness. That's where we'll stash the bike, continue on up the uh, St. Vrain Glacier Trail, boogie all the way up here. And then when we get up here, I am gonna be checking out all these beautiful lakes and glaciers. And further, if energy and time permits, there's a couple exciting summits, Elk Tooth, as well as Ogallala, I believe it's pronounced. Uh, we'll see if, uh, if we can pull all that off. That's a pretty incredibly long day. Um, so we shall see, but I am looking forward to this uh, little excursion it's somewhere uh, I haven't been in about 25 years. It's late September in the Northern Rockies and we are starting to definitely see some beginnings of the aspen changing. A uh, little note on the road, uh, it is quite rough. You likely need a modified four wheel drive to even consider uh, getting up here in a vehicle. Although the mountain bike has a little problem. It is, it is pretty rocky, but not really a problem. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is like a lake. Oh shit. This is crazy. Looks like we're gonna make it. Oh shit. Oh. Wow. Well, we've arrived at the Indian Peaks Wilderness proper, Buchanan Pass Trailhead. Uh, pretty clear where we are. We've got just a little bit more of not wilderness that I'm gonna eat every little bit up of that I can before I stash the bike. And uh, then off we go toward Gibraltar Lake here, um, I think. Assuming we have the energy, we'll uh, head on up here. And this is Elk Tooth Mountain. And uh, even further off the map is also Ogallala. So that's my plan. Dump the bike and all the bike stuff, pump, water bottle, shoes, and uh, I'm all geared up for more of the mountaineering side of the adventure zone. But I gotta say that uh, that road had some had some exciting spots in it for sure. Um, but uh, sign's kind of hard to read, but that's Indian Peaks Wilderness official. And uh, here's our regulations including no mechanical equipment. That will be the bike. So we'll leave that here and we will head on out. Awesome. Thanks to the bike, the adventure zone has come into view rather quickly and easily. I haven't been hiking for very long and uh, I'm quite sure that's the elk tooth with such a distinctive summit. So great. Um, a little more motivated to maybe go beyond the lakes and get up in there and do some scrambling.
was definitely harder than it looked. I'm thinking about going up to the right and a gully behind that marine wall there. Just climbed up the edge of the moraine and uh, now I'm getting to the talus up here and uh, as a experienced talus slodger um, I am definitely gonna work my way around this depression on the left go by those big boulders then I am gonna find that deep gully with a larger talus in it that's gonna make it easy to scramble up then I'm gonna suffer a little bit until I get to those whitish rocks on the right and uh and that then they're gonna help me I'll sneak over there and then up to that tundra that looks kind of like a uh, brown a brownish orange and then work the tundra left up the chutes trying to find some solid rock good footing making some good time and then we'll get up on the ridge adventure zone central and over to the elk tooth I'm almost to those big boulders. As you can hear, I'm sliding all around. Um, this is definitely the part I want to minimize, and it worked out well. I I did minimize it pretty good. Um, it's getting better already. Uh, yeah, it even looks like a little tundra. There's my boulders. Alrighty then. So I. Uh, I opted not to do the tundra. I felt bad about the erosion and honestly the uh, the third class scramble up this rib right in the middle of the gully was, uh, was pretty good. It was good for me. It's loose but uh, I like getting my arms in on the action and uh, I enjoy climbing so uh, so I'm going to stick with that because um, it's, it's working for me. So I'll just kind of cruise up this uh, white section on the left on the rib and and that'll go great. It is loose again, so uh, be careful. We have hit the ridge. So that is pretty sweet. So east Ridge of Elk Tooth. point of the ridge not necessarily the summit of elk tooth um, but it's been pretty tough actually fairly steep the grade hasn't really relented despite being on the ridge um, but it is spectacular all right so hard work's paying off there's the elk's tooth just a couple sub summits away. Wow. I've been skirting some of the uh, sub summits on the south or uh, climbers left. They're coming up.
Grab a quick pano of the Elk Tooth Summit here. And uh, from this view, it does look like I have a descent uh, almost straight down there where that water is glistening in the sun. So I think I may consider moving on to Ogalala over there. A little class four scrambling, but uh, it looks pretty reasonable. I am booking it along the ridge between the Elk Tooth and Ogala. It's going well, moving fast. I am staying a little bit on the north side of the ridge, missing some of the sub summits and uh, making some great progress. I just skirted these cliffs, which are pretty vertical on the other side. I went around to the right. I even found a faint little trail. And now I'm actually cutting back toward the northeast. And I am going to head up here and gain the ridge proper. Um, I believe there was a summer report that, uh, that talked about all this. And as daunting as it looks, there is my... Happy little grass ramp. So just a little bit of technical climbing in here. And I'll be cruising up there and hopefully it'll be great. This is a fairly undocumented peak. My spider senses say, heck yeah. Yeah, not even class four. But this little ramp seems to be the key. Definitely a little hard work. I think I turned up just a little too early. From up here I can see what appears to be a trail down there. Boy, that looks pretty sheer. A little bit overhanging right there. We are good. Okay. But, just kind of get us where we want to be. Wait, that was gnarly. Thinking this is the final head wall.
That's Long's Peak. Big old notch in it. There in the distant background. Way beautiful. Obviously that's Rocky Mountain National Park. And I believe that uh, drainage to the left goes to uh, the Wild Basin, also Rocky Mountain. There's our approach basin down there. Looking pretty dark. And uh, I'm gonna get down there fast because uh, there is some weather. Looks like it's building in over here. Um, amazing glaciers. That is for sure. There's west. Much, uh, much more gentle country on that side. But uh, that's not what we got. We are going to sneak back down this thing again and uh, down, down, down to that turquoise lake. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my jacket. It also does help in case I do take a little digger. So we will suit up and I am not gonna dally. I'm gonna get out of here. Good thing to remember right now is accidents happen on the way down. So give myself a little reminder to try to stay focused. Yeah, especially for right here. where I did the down climb. I'm uh, trying to be better about that, but climbing's not the problem, it's the loose rock. Been booking down these nice little gullies. Really not bad at all. Uh, even a little bit grassy. Um, definitely don't want to descend too quickly from the summit of Ogala, or I, I'm pretty sure it'll cliff out. I definitely worked east before I worked down. Um, and this is one of the nice little gullies. That I, I think just on the right of this gully is where the cliff problems would occur. We have made it down a lot. A fairly treacherous talus, I'm gonna call it. Um, that's the Ogala Soma up there. Um, we came down through this big mess. Really maybe going a little further east where it looks a little dirtier. Those you can actually like slide down happily. Um, I took a little bigger talus, it was tough, but uh, it happened, it's done did take one good ding that is elk's tooth from below and yeah I'm just happy to be on a little tundra but it's gonna be short-lived Yeah. 
grass is just crazy colored. That was quite an adventure. A few cairns, rough trail. But that's pretty much it. We are on the way out. And we're getting a beautiful little sunset to go with it. Just loaded up one super muddy bike and uh, I made it alive. So I'm happy for that. It was a long haul, but it was good. So uh, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>